hard to fall asleep when I'm only calm. My music is very blunt. It doesn't have a lot of very deep, like, metaphorical content. It's very coarse. It's very rough and it's very in your face. I like writing that, that way because it, uh, it doesn't cut corners. Yeah. It just goes straight for it. It's less of a music project and more of a journey to just figure myself out. Mm -hmm. And then the music is just kind of an accessory to that. Pretty much all of Little Tyrant stuff uh, revolves around uh, being transgender. A lot of people who know very little about it have a bias towards it, thinking that uh, a lot of people identify this way to uh, to stand out, to like yeah. seem special, have like a higher like holding over other people. But in reality, it's all about it's all about personal comfort. It's all about going through life and just kind of uh, figuring stuff out about yourself. The songs that I'm writing are about that kind of stress. Uh, just kind of waking up in the morning and just being like, wow, I don't know what the fuck I am. There was a point in my life where I just couldn't write music. It's not like that things were like super crazy good, happiest time of my life. Things were just kind of like normal. I didn't really have anything to write about. I broke things off uh, with my partner. We drifted apart for a while and that created a lot of material. I was writing a ton of songs. It wasn't justified for me to just be writing songs about my depression regarding this person. I just kind of started slowly moving into more situational topics. I tell a lot of people this because um, I do get asked a lot how to start out writing music and what to do when you're stuck in a block. What someone taught me a long time ago was uh, don't listen to a, a, a type of music that you want to write. Mm -hmm. Usually when I'm, I'll get in a, a mental block, I'll stop listening to music and I'll start listening to like podcasts or like 80s glam metal or something like that. Something that like, like a t type of music that I know I just won't be making. Mm -hmm. And when I sit down to write, if ideas come to me, I'll know that they're much more organic because uh, I didn't really have any kind of an influence yeah. that was like following that writing and stuff like that. It's funny, I wrote a song and a, a big lyric in it, which was, I used to complain that I was too happy to write songs, but you don't have to worry about that anymore. People heard this lyric and like, they told me like, yo, this shit was so real, man. I'd rather be, you know, making music while depressed than, you know, doing something harmful or something like that. A big influence of mine is, uh, is Nick Drake, who is a, uh, a 70s folk guitarist. He wrote this gorgeous acoustic guitar music, um, and his last album, Pink Moon, one of my favorite albums of all time, if not my favorite album of all time. A big influence on my guitar playing style, a big influence on my songwriting style. When I still listen to Pink Moon, it was there was very little mixing done on it, it was just guitar and vocals. And when I listen to it, it like I feel like he's like in the room with me. It's just that personal. I wanna put out as much music as possible. And uh, the fact that I've been writing music for six or seven years so far, and that I'm still only like a couple months into Little Tyrant, and I have like a full album written, and I'm still writing songs. You know, the fact that I haven't lost like like creativity and stuff like that. You know, that makes me feel like yeah, I could do this for a while. Uh, a lot of these materials are very easy to get uh, these days. Anyone can kind of just sit down with a guitar and a dynamic microphone and like GarageBand and just record an album. Technology has just given us such a, an, a, a massive platform to like to just you know spell our thoughts onto. You crept right through the door. I would see pictures of my dad like playing in bands when he was 17 and 18. 
there aren't any recordings of him, so I have no idea what kind of music he was playing. I have no idea what the kind of stuff he was like sounding like was. I have like photos. And I was late to your way. When I was growing up, if you wanted to feel nostalgic, you pulled out a photo album. If you want to feel nostalgic now, you just pull up your Facebook and just go back to 2009. It's going to be really interesting to like be a part of the generation that kind of has their 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 pasts at their fingertips. Is that what you're right?